Ruffs. You heard me. Ruffs. If you've watched Marcus Gilmore, J.D. Beck, Mason Gidry, Ragov, or others, you may have noticed they're all doing something funky. About 10 to 15 years ago, modern jazz drumming changed, with people like Marcus Gilmore developing a new style. But you can incorporate one of the major elements of that style into your playing today, and I'll show you how. Stay tuned. Ruffs! Today I'll be showing you what the humble rough is and four ways to incorporate it into your jazz playing to make it sound more modern. Let's start with what it is and how to play it. If you've played any rudimental books like Charlie Wilcox or Alan Dawson's Rudimental Ritual or simply practiced the 26 essential rudiments, you've probably heard the drag. Well, rough is just another word for drag. Anyway, the drag I first learned was like this. with the first two strokes bounced and the accented stroke on the other hand. That's a three-stroke drag or a three-stroke rough. But there's also a four-stroke rough, which is pretty common in classical snare drum. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you my favorite variations on the four-stroke rough. Here's where we're eventually going with this. Before we get there, though, let's talk through how to actually do the rough. In a traditional four-stroke rough, you land on the downbeat, and the other strokes are a little bit softer, like this. For the modern jazz rough, though, we're going to accent the second to last stroke, which is on my left hand since I'm playing right hand lead, and end with a double stop between the kick drum and the right hand on the ride cymbal. An easy way to practice this is just think in triplets and do one triplet two. Three chiplet four. Let me demonstrate slowly. Three chiplet four chiplet. Now I'll speed it up a little. Three four. Now let's talk about some other applications of the four stroke jazz rough. I feel like there should be a catchphrase here, right? Like, and that's one to grow on. Or roll tape. How about, let's play some jazz. I want to give you an idiom you can apply in multiple situations. You can twist and turn it, and you can change the rhythmic context. It's just this. Whenever you have two beats separated by three subdivisions, you can put a rough in there. So one of the first places we can take this is eighths or sixteenths. Instead of one triplet, two triplet, we can think three e and a four e and a. So a good basic exercise is three e and a four e and a. We can also do something I really need a name for. Maybe I'll call it the three peat, but it's essentially when you have two six beat phrases and a four beat phrase, which all together equals 16 beats. And you can take a four beat phrase and put it through this matrix. So it would become something like this, three, four. Now let's get fancy. You'll often hear Marcus, JD, and others doing back-to-back -back roughs and using them in groups of five. So we said four stroke roughs work great with any resolution points separated by three subdivisions, right? So we have three, four. And three e end of four e end of. What I didn't tell you is you can put two of these back to back, like three, four. And then we can rough it up like this, three, four.
You can also make five beat cycles out of this. Like one, two, three, four, five. And of course, many great players like to do groups of five circling over four, like this. Three, four. Basically anything you can invent with the building blocks of that three subdivision separation. You can add roughs too to make nastier. Got it? By the way, if you'd like a complete transcription of all the exercises in this lesson, you can just click below the player. You can download it free and clear or also get on my mailing list where I'll send you three free vid You know the routine. So, four stroke rough, easiest to fit in spaces when you've got three subdivisions between your resolution points. Now, let's talk about two stroke roughs. So, of course, Marcus made famous a version of two stroke rough, which is Two notes on the snare drum with one hand, the second of which is accented with a rim shot. First, a little tutorial on how to do it. Some people think of it as a drop catch, like... For me, it's a little easier to kind of fast twitch, so it's literally two quick singles. I feel the articulations better when I do it that way. And the Marcus two-stroke rough works best when your resolution points are separated by two subdivisions instead of three. Here's a five-note variation of the Marcus rough I really like. Slowly, four, five. And you can leave the first kick note out, which is even easier. Finally, the five stroke ref. Marcus, Nate Wood, and a lot of others like this one. The five stroke Marcus ref is an inverted paradiddle starting on the left hand and ending on the right. But like many of these others, it sounds hipper if you add a rim shot on the second to last beat before the downbeat. You can toss these in situations where your resolution points are three subdivisions apart, like the four strokers. Three chiplet, four chiplet. Or four subdivisions apart, like this. Three e and a four e and a. Here are a couple of my favorite ways to incorporate this. Three, four. And that's my crash course on jazz roughs. Anyway, if you dug this shallow dive into modern jazz vocabulary and you'd like a much deeper dive, also if you've been lurking on the channel for a hot minute, you like what you see, you feel like you might be ready to study with me, I recommend my course, the 8020 Coaching Course, which is like three to six months of studying with me, all for around the price of a single lesson. Now, we only open that up a few times a year, and we only open it up exclusively to people on my list. And if you want to kill two birds with one stone, you can just click the link below this player and download the transcription of all the exercises in this lesson completely free. You'll also get my three free video mini course, which includes a lot greater depth about how to play jazz. And if you choose to be, you'll be notified the next time we open up the coaching course. Dudes, it's been real. Always enjoy these. Hope you have a good one. See you right back here for another lesson of the week. All these years, still no chops. I don't know why people listen to me. Weak ass snaps today. Weak ass snaps. What's wrong with me? Okay, other hand. Nothing. Let's clap then. Can't even clap. Wrapped.